TNTM The Show presents One Piece Cast with uh, your host, the ambassador, and special guest, my wife, Alejandra. And uh, we're here to talk to you about the Netflix uh, live action One Piece series that just came out. Mm -hmm. uh, we both really like the anime, so uh, we watched it right away. And we, because of the long weekend, we had time to uh, get a, a review out for you guys. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, get started with it. Uh, what, what did you think overall of the series? I thought it was really good. I thought it was really true to the anime. Um, I read the manga a little bit. And I'm also close to the, really close to the manga as well. Yeah, it was a good uh, balance. Uh, one of the things I did notice was there are some events that happened during that time that you don't find out happened until later in the manga or anime mm -hmm. that uh, in the show they kind of pushed for, but it does help keep the mo story moving a little better and then it kind of explains why you got characters showing up where they're showing up as mm -hmm. well. And there was some uh, liberties taken, but the, you, you got to expect that. But who who was your favorite character? Oh man, uh, probably Luffy. Luffy yeah. was really good. Yeah, I really liked Luffy. I feel like he is the star of the show, as he should be, and uh, close uh, close contender for me was Zoro. Mm -hmm. Zoro was just spot on and then Usopp, well, he just looked like Usopp <laughs> from the manga and yeah. the uh, anime. That was pretty cool to see uh, Usopp there. And uh, the way they played Usopp was really, the way Usopp was used and played was really well mm -hmm. and the big scene they had with him in the fight i kind of forgot he did that it was fun to yeah. watch it i was like oh yeah that's right that was his uh great victory there but one thing i did notice different was the with luffy they were really like, you need to step up and become the captain. Yeah. You, didn't really, you don't really see that much in the anime. And I feel like it's a good direction to go because uh, it really helps uh, give you a good uh, character development mm -hmm. moment there. And then, of course, we did get one warlord in this too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hakai Mihawk, mm -hmm. and wow, that was that was a good fight. Yeah, yeah, that really was a good, good fight. fight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that character, the guy who played the character, was just perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, I loved how uh, he uh, handles his uh, business. Mm -hmm. You could say. Can't forget about Shanks. Oh yeah, Shanks. red hair Shanks yeah. was was a perfect fit as well and it was good seeing red hair shanks and it's kind of nice because uh so much of the story has moved on like they go okay well let's make the scene a little different where it shows exactly what shanks was doing so anyone who knows what he was doing can see it easily mm -hmm. that was kind of cool because uh one piece world isn't quite the same as our world no. like there's there's a lot of similarities but like there's definitely like a lot more magic you could say in one piece yeah with the devil fruits and fish people yeah and which uh i'm kind of glad where they ended it they yeah they, they ended in a really good spot uh, where, uh, like, uh, they they kind of just did the whole East Blue story arc for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, they only left one part out, which we'll see at the beginning of the 
new season, which it sounds like it's very likely to get renewed. Yeah. I, I hope it, it does. Because uh, they got a really good thing going. And I would say it is a must to watch for everyone. Yeah. yeah. Even if you haven't seen the anime, it's actually really good. It's number one on Netflix right now, so. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, yeah. We didn't mention Sanji. That's right. Yeah, the one, the, the only, like, Nami looked the part. But Sanji didn't really look his character yeah, too much. Yeah, he did He really did. But then when he started talking, you're like, that's Sanji. Yep. And, uh, like, the way they had him play it was so good. Like, it, he was a, the charm of Sanji, you could say, was, like, definitely a lot better. Like, he really had the charm. But it was kind of cool. Like, uh... There was one line that they always, that, that like everyone gives a hard time to Luffy about, but no one ever says anything to Sanji about it, yet he does the exact same thing. About fighting the Abu? No. Oh. No, about naming his moves. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's he, right. Because he does it in the anime, yeah. too. And like, no, none of the other characters really name their moves, but... Luffy and, Sanji yeah. does, and so does Luffy, and it's great that, like, Sanji gives a similar answer to what Luffy always says about <laughs> it. Zoro, he was like, oh, you're gonna fit in. <laughs> such a perfect, <sighs> such a perfect way to build a character development. Uh -huh. And, uh, they did handle, they handled Sanji's whole recruitment very differently in this one. Yeah, they did. But I think it worked out for a sh TV show because the format is very different on this one. It's like, a, would you say, hour-long episodes. Mm hmm And uh, it was eight altogether. But it covered a lot. Yeah, they, they did go through quite a bit of story. Mm -hmm. But they did do really good on that. Um, who do you think was the best villain? Oh man, I really like Buggy. Buggy was Buggy, really good. And I like the fight. I like <clears throat> when they dismantle him, and it's just his like head and his hands and his lips, his feet. That was great. That was such I, good effects. And yeah, and then when he just ran off in the end, I don't know. I think I think he was my favorite. Arlong. I mean, it's Arlong, but I mean, Arlong is just not. A likable character. No, but Buggy, I like Buggy. Like Buggy, they really played him well because yeah. in the anime he's very likable as well. But I feel like at first they didn't really know what they were doing with him, so they didn't get like his character down. But with this one, knowing more of what happens, they can mm -hmm. really get Buggy down and realize, yeah, he's dangerous, but he's also not at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, that's the best way to put it, and uh, I do like that they uh, reference that he he was with Shanks. That that was a good reference. Oh yeah, yeah, that he was in the same crew. Yeah, but mm -hmm. little they haven't said which crew it is. That would be fun when they reveal that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'd say it's a must watch. A ten out of ten. Recommend it. We don't yeah. do 10 out of 10 rating with Talk Nerdy to Me. <laughs> so it's a must watch. Yeah, I know I agree. All right. Well, uh, this is it for the this review. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I am wearing my Talk Nerdy to Me uh, One Piece shirt Which here. Which is really cool. Look at that. Look at yeah, that. it's really cool. <laughs> for Talk Nerdy to Me here. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get some other cool uh, One Piece shirts uh, created. And the uh, easiest way to find us is at TNTM The Show, our uh, YouTube. If you look search for TNTM The Show, you can find us there. Our Facebook is at TNTM The Show. And make sure to like our uh, current Facebook. Unfortunately, the old one was hacked, so right now we don't have control of that page. Uh, so that's why that page isn't really posting anything right now. But we're in the process of getting that back. And then 
Twitter's at PNTM the show, and then we got the Talk Nerdy to Me TikTok. We got the Talk Nerdy to Me mm-hmm. TikTok as well, and uh, that's pretty much all of all that we do have. And stay nerdy, Planet Earth.